Welcome to week two. This week is packed with activities, a party, ice exploration, and time with teacher Barbara on Thursday. I'm tired already and we haven't even started. Activity number three, teddy bear picnic. It is time to get ready for the social event of the year, a teddy bear picnic. We have so much to do. We need to send out invitations to our friends, make bread and lemonade, make jam sandwiches, and set up our picnic area. I'm sure we will have a great time. You and your child are going to love making bread together. All of the sticky mixing is done in a bag. The recipe for making the bread is on the sheet on the top of your box. Please use it for precise instructions. But for some general instruction, you're going to want to start by taking out all of the little bags out of the big Ziploc bag. Next, separate your flour into three equal parts. We're ready to get started with making bread. You want to put one part flour, all of the sugar, all of the yeast, and warm water um, back into the Ziploc bag. It is important that the water is warm but not hot because hot kills the yeast. Zip it up and now we need to wait and let the yeast have a little meal to get started. Set the bag down on the counter for five minutes. Once the yeast is activated, add the next part flour with oil and salt. Seal the bag and have the child mix it together until it's all combined. Once combined, open the bag and add the last bit of flour. Seal the bag and mix again until it all comes together. Then turn it, the bread dough out onto a wax paper sheet with flour sprinkled on the paper. Knead the bread for five minutes, full smoosh, full smoosh, and once kneaded, separate the dough into two equal pieces. Put the pieces into well-greased pans, which we've provided, cover it with a clean towel, and let it raise for 30 minutes until it doubles in size. Once doubled, you can are ready you're ready to actually put it in the oven so put both of the pans in an oven which has been preheated to 375 degrees bake for 25 minutes you want to take the bread out when you thump on it and it sounds hollow and it's slightly golden brown the pans need to sit on the counter for about five minutes after coming out of the oven to cool in the pan. Once the five minutes is over, you want to dump the bread out of the pans and you're ready to taste. We are hoping that your child can learn to make a sandwich, which requires them slicing the bread and putting jam on the bread. They should be able to slice the bread with a butter knife with a sawing motion. Once the slices are ready, they can spread jam on the bread and cover it with another slice of bread. Jam sandwich made. Next, we need to work on our invite. Um, it is a great time for your child to practice writing their name and the recipient's name. You can either provide, write it in pencil and they write over it, or you can provide a sample and they can copy it. Either way, it's a great time for them to try their hand at writing. Whatever they produce, lines or things that look like letters, it's absolutely perfect. We've added making lemonade to the project to allow your child to have some practice at pouring and mixing. Follow the instructions on the packet. Have your child pour the water into the pitcher and then mix. You can have them pour water into the pitcher in the sink in case some of the water doesn't get into the pitcher and then they can pour um, lemonade into the glasses into cups. This practice of pouring is so important for them to become more independent. Uh, I'm really excited for your picnic. You've got lemonade and jam sandwiches and cookies. We hope that you and your family will enjoy the little party. This is activity number four. 
Brr, it is cold where polar bears live, so how do they stay warm? Well, their fur helps, but it, they also have a secret weapon, a layer of insulation. We are going to see what a difference insulation makes. You are going to need to start with some ice, water, and a container. And you want to let them experience how cold ice water really is and see how long they can keep their hand under the cold icy water. 10 seconds? 20 seconds? <sighs> now we have to try it with some insulation to see the difference the insulation makes. We have provided some Ziploc bags that have uh, an insulation layer of fat. You can put your hand in a Ziploc. It won't touch the fat, no icky feel, but your child <coughs> um, having their hand in it should be able to put the Ziploc bag and their hand underwater um, and it should allow them to stay much, much longer in the water. So how long were they able to stay? Let's see some video. Well, while we're working with ice, let's get some things ready to freeze to see some of the cool things that we can actually do with ice. Activity number five. Let's make some ice paint. Using the Dixie cups provided, we want to mix one part water with three parts paint. Mix the two together and then put sticks into the cups and put them in the freezer overnight. The next day you can tear, <coughs> excuse me, tear the paper off and if some of the paper sticks just put it under warm water and it'll come off. You're ready to paint. Ice is clear, it's not clear, it's cold, it starts with water and then gets hard. To explore some of the cool things about making ice and to create something stunning, we're going to create sun catchers fashioned in ice. And in your box you will find some freezer Ziploc bags to put things in water. You want to fill the bags up with water and then put your items um, in it and then use a straw as you close it to suck the remaining air out and then quick zip it closed. You can poke the items around until you're happy with their placement and then you want to put them in the freezer and let them freeze overnight. Once they are frozen, you can run warm water on the outside of the bag which should allow a chunk of ice to come out. These two examples are some of the things um, that I've tried. We've done flowers on the left and fruit and pine branches and cranberries and pine cones on the right. But you can freeze anything in freezer bags. Cars, water beads, little dinosaurs, little bears, fruit, vegetables, rocks, you get it. And now that you've um, got all these beautiful things in ice, um, I wonder what it would take to get the items out. What does your think your child think would work best? Cold water, warm water, water with salt? You should try them. So using the pipettes to get the water in the pipette, you squeeze the, the pipette until the air is out under the water and then let go and it'll suck the water in. Then take it out of the water and then uh, place it over the ice and then push down the pipette on the outside and it'll get the water out. So what do you think would work better? Let us know. Post your findings up on class tag. During circle time, teacher Barbara is actually going to be singing uh, with you Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. And here are the lyrics. Um, we would love if you could bring your teddy bear to circle time. And if you don't have one, could you draw one? so we can see. Well, this has been a busy week. We hope your family enjoys the picnic and all of the ice exploration and finishes off with a great circle time with Barbara. Thanks for
um, getting involved with this and this kind of strange combination of facts and exploration. <laughs>